Have you ever compared your movement to a radiant? If you watch back your gameplay, you likely look like what you're seeing on screen. To you, this may look fine, well, maybe not fine, but you may think it's not the biggest deal in the world. But if we swap out this example for what a radiant looks like, what do you notice? Well, I noticed that a radiant has a lot cleaner movement than we do. We are using two keys at once in order to turn corners and move throughout the maps. Again, to you, this may look fine, but to a coach and a radiant, this looks lazy and sloppy. A radiant, for the majority of times, use only one key to turn corners and move throughout the map. If we can get your movement to look a lot more like this, not only will you have much cleaner movement, but you could learn how to be untouchable in your ranked games. To get started, watch this quick clip that I made for my community to show you exactly what your fingers need to be doing in order to clean up your movement to look like a radiant. Alright guys, so if you were in a stream yesterday, as I was saying, I'm going to show you guys an example of what my hands actually do when I'm moving through the map. Many of you guys do this. So you guys press two keys at once. So we're moving diagonally, so we're pressing W and A in order to kind of move diagonally, and then we're pressing W and D, W and A, W, D, right? We're moving through the map like this, and you're not moving at your maximum speed. You move faster when you are just pressing A, or if you're just swinging with D compared to if you're swinging with W and A or W and D. So one cool trick that I like to do in order to kind of uh, get out of this habit is by pressing one key at a time. So I quite literally only have one hand, uh, finger pressing the keyboard at once. So I, you see how I have my, my middle finger and my index finger pointed upward because I don't want them to press W or D mistakenly, right? So I'm going to over exaggerate each individual key press. So I'm, I'm moving in with A, now I'm pressing W. And you see uh, my, my, my middle finger is down on W, but my two other fingers that I press A and D with are raised up, right? And then when I'm gonna press W, I lift my middle finger, and now I'm just gonna put my index finger on W, now, I'm oh, sorry, on D, and now I'm gonna go like this, right? So we're only pressing one key at a time, and we're like over-exaggerating everything. But you see that? We're only pressing one key. And let me show you how I would push onto A site as Jet, just to show you like this is like legit, all right? So one more time, so W, all right? Uh, you see how better my movement is guys so remember only have her only press one key at a time and if you need to lift the other two fingers up so that way you don't mistakenly press w or you don't mistakenly press another key this will prevent you a lot of times from panicking um and moving forward or, or anything like that do you want to absolutely perfect this skill to look more like a pro radiant giga chad stud yeah, so you need to practice it to make it natural over time. Give yourself two weeks in practicing the routine that I'm about to tell you. Are you ready? Good, because it's simple. I need you to go into custom games and choose one map a day. Practice moving through the map as if we were an attacker, but go through every single route that you would take in an actual game two times over. So for this scenario, I am practicing on split. I want to push B main into B bomb site and plant the bomb twice. Then I want to push mid from ramen into mail, then ropes twice. Then I can do the same thing on the other side coming out of sewers. And finally, we can practice pushing the A bomb site, at first pushing ramps into heaven, and then we can go directly onto site through main. Do you see? It's easy. You just don't be lazy, bro. Now, here's another secret, but mainly for Jet mains, since Deserved It plays Jet, and in the VOD that we reviewed on stream, which you should be watching every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we saw Deserved It dash forward on accident. If this happens to you, here's a trick that I showed him and stream. Alright, so, um, if you guys saw on stream, um, one mistake that, uh, our homeboy Deserved It did was he dashed forward. In order to dash forward as Jet, you don't have to press W. Let's say I take my hands fully off the key and I just dash. By default, you dash forward. So one thing as Jet means we can use to prevent this is doing what? Well, having our finger hovered over the direction we want to go in. So that's the only key we press. Let's say we do what Deserve It did and we take our shot. You press the key and then you dash. Okay, don't do what I just did to where I dash before even pressing the key, right? You shoot, press key, dash. Okay, so you want to be already going into the direction to where you want to go. Shoot, press key, dash, all right? But again, 
the rule of thumb is to only press one key at a time and lift your fingers so that way you don't mistakenly press the other keys. And as you get more comfortable and as this becomes a habit, then you can actually rest your fingers on the other keys, right? But in order to make this a habit, guys, trust me, just keep your other two fingers that you're not using hovering over because we're only pressing one key at a time. <sighs> to all my jet mains and everyone else who doesn't play jet, follow the movement tips that I provided in this video and you will see your movement go from noob to pro very quickly. With these techniques, we can limit our mistakes, which will allow us to win more games. Now, do you want to hear something even crazier? Over 80% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. Please consider subscribing and joining my Discord server where I offer 100% free coaching. If you want to be an absolute baller, please consider becoming a server subscriber so I can keep getting you all to Immortal, but full time. Now, before I let you go here, here is a little clip from my stream, so this way, you know for sure. When you come and watch a Sondo stream, you are gonna learn, bro. Deuce deuce, everyone, and watch this. <sighs> no, about that. Nah, you gotta trust. Nice, don't overthink, bro, just, just, don't overthink. I don't like that dash. I don't like that dash just because you're doing it really late. Um, think about this. If a person is playing ramp right here, and then you just dash up with absolutely no utility whatsoever, they don't even have to swing you. They just have to legit hold the angle onto you because you dashed right here, and then you're pretty much dead, right? Because it takes you like a good second to be able to pull out your weapon after you dash, right? So this dash is kind of risky. I'm not too sure where you found this dash. Um, but I would just think about and like be careful like when we dash like this, okay? Um, we'll pull plot one. He's peak plot one, guys. Wouldn't it be better for them to go faster onto site so everyone rotates faster and the lurker can hold angles to get easy picks off their rotate? Ideally, yes. Like, in a perfect world, on paper, yeah, you would think that would make the most sense. But at the same time, if we're just going to go fast on site, why not just go with five people? Because if you are considering numbers, right? Let's say there's three people holding a site. What's better, a five versus three or a four versus three? You know what I'm saying? So you kind of have to look at an aspect of that. So that's why we want to take it slow, see if we can get a pick ourselves or if Sage can get an early pick for us right so right now if you ever have a lurker your goal should try being to draw the enemies to you not by just flooding sight but by like putting pressure on a particular part of the map trying to create an opening for you yourself or the lurker right but if we're just gonna go on site and we're fighting 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 and our sage is like far away because it's gonna take us some time to rotate over then at that point it's just like ah dang then now if you guys all die, guess what? Sage is the last one alive, rotating through ropes, and it just gets messy, right? So that I think that's the proper way on how to play, and that's what I like to tell people um, on how to play whenever you guys have a lurker and everything like that. 